Well, this is a special treat in today's show, folks. I'm with Gary Roach, Mr. Walleye, and we're at your second home up here, Gary, Manaki, Ontario. Right, it's a beautiful place. In fact, uh, this is kind of right where I live when I come up here. It's the cabin 13 right there on the hill, right on the big rock, right next to the marina where I get all the bait and gas and everything I need. We're at Paradise Cove Resort in Manaki, Ontario, folks. I'm Roger Cormier with Gary Roach and we're heading up the lake to do some walleye fishing. We're gonna show you some techniques that Mr. Walleye uses to put fish in the boat when he's practicing for tournaments. It's gonna to be a neat show, and we're gonna tell you about Manaki, what a great multi-species fishery. Let's go fishing, Let's Gary. Let's go fishing, Roger. There's one right there. All right, Gary. Oh, this is a decent fish here, see? That's your there average walleye right there. Oh, look what I got. We got the multi-species thing going. I, I got a little smallie on the reef. Okay. I got twins. <laughs> my, my bass is about the size of the belly of your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> this is normally later on when the fish move out of the river, they move back in here because there's a lot of whitefish, tulipies, ciscos, all over up in here. You know, a lot of this Canadian water, Gary, very snaggy reefs and, and rocky points that you're fishing for these walleyes. Talk about the advantage of using bottom bouncers for fishing these walleyes in rocky rocky conditions like this? Well, bottom bouncers are a sinker like this, and you'll hit the bottom, and you'll hold up on them a little bit. So they'll tickle the rocks, but it won't jam down in them. That little tail on there keeps them. Yeah, you tickle the rocks with that uh, yeah. with that sinker. It keeps you from snagging up. Yep. Put a little snell out behind it with a, with a little hook tip with a leech, number six or number eight hook. What do you got, Roger? I think he's just a little guy, Gary. Okay. All right, we'll get, we'll get the bigger ones. Might just be able to swing this guy in. Just take it easy, because we're fishing deep water. Yeah, he's just a little guy. Roger released that fish, and there he's going down right there. See him? He went right down. Look at there. He's going right back home, where there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven walleyes right there in 36 feet of water. Gary Roach's secret double leech trick. Yeah, don't tell anybody about that, will you? <laughs> Unfortunately. Go blurp, blurp, blurp on that part, would you? Unfortunately, the camera's rolling. The secret oh, is out. Well. The secrets. Oh, I'm no. using two leeches from now on on my bottom bouncer rigs. Twenty years we've been fishing together, and it's the first time you told me that secret. Is that right? Jeez. Oh. Yeah, just a little. Oh, look at that, man. Just little. Raining walleyes. Just a nice fish. Right. Better than the average bear. Yeah, that's a beautiful walleye. There we go. Look at that. Yep. Look at that fella there. That's a perfect spot, isn't it? Just over 18. Well, you know, Gary, great walleye fishing up here in Manaki, and you've got your own Gary Roach Pro Am Walleye Tournament up here. Talk about that. Well, it's a tournament Roger's been going on for Gosh, 22, 23 years now. $10,000 first prize, another 18-incher. Some of the guys that's been winning it were actually co-anglers many years ago, <laughs> and they're winning it now. They're so good. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, Gary bases this tournament out of Paradise Cove Resort. This is Dwayne Hell's operation up here. Three great facilities to choose from. There's Paradise Cove 1, Paradise Cove 2, and Paradise Park. All of these resorts have one, two, and three bedroom cabins right on the shores of Manaki there. Full kitchens in all the cabins, so you can bring all your own groceries up here. All the utensils are provided. Or if you want, you can go over to Paradise Cove too. They've got a full restaurant and bar there. Uh, you'd be surprised how inexpensive it is to stay up here for such nice accommodations. Another nice thing about coming to Manaki, paved highways all the way here. It's about a three hour drive north of International Falls, Minnesota. You can trailer your boat up here. You don't have to worry about going down any gravel roads to get to Manaki and this great fishing and hunting. Paradise Cove Resort, Manaki, Ontario. A great place to stay for summer fishing or fall hunting. 18. Come up to Manaki, Ontario, catch nice walleyes like that. She wants to go, huh? Nice average Joe. There we go. He's bending the pole. 
Boy, he kind of shook like a smallmouth bass there, but I think he's just a, a nice walleye, Gary. That's what coming up to Menaki, Ontario is all about right there. Big walleyes. Gary Roach can choose to fish anywhere. He puts his cabin in Menaki, Ontario at Paradise Cove Resort, folks. That should be the testimonial you need right there. If you're looking for a great place to fish in Canada, you can give them a call at the number on your screen or go to their wonderful website. Dwayne Hell will set you up at one of his three resorts up here in Menaki, Ontario. Awesome fishing for walleyes, muskies, and smallmouth bass. I'm Roger Cormier, and this is Gary Roach, Mr. Walleye. Gary, thanks for having us up here. It's been a great trip. It's been a super trip, and we've got one more day of fishing. So come on up, and we'll show you where to catch all these nice fish. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.